This is Hawkeye and I am back with Ultimate Fishing Simulator and I am here to show you a few things that have changed since the last time we were here. They've been doing quite a few updates and a few additions. Uh, just to go ahead and show you, if you look up at the top they now have tournaments and you could basically join different tournaments. You can either have your private ones between you and other players or you could check to see if there are any that are available that you can join in by clicking right here I believe you can go in here and look and see at this point in time if you had other players as you can see there's an AI player 3, there's an AI player 2, and there's an AI player 1 you're competing against at this point artificial intelligence but you can actually get real players that you can go up against and see how well you guys do. Now I'm going to go ahead and get back because I don't really want to play a tournament against anything right at the moment. We're going to go ahead and look at some stuff, other stuff that they've added since then. So let's go ahead and exit this tournament issue. Now we're going to go ahead and look at some of the new inventories, they've added a few more additional items. They've added ground baits, which I didn't see before. I think these are what they call the boilies, but I believe they come a little bit later in the game. Well, no, not necessarily. It looks like they do have them. I haven't tested these to see what the uh, trout go for of these flavors. So that is something I'm going to have to look into later. Right now we're going to be more worried about spin casting. Uh, now as far as spin casting, the only things I've really had a whole lot of luck with here at Betty Lake have been uh, spinners and spoons and only a select few of those. The spinner that I've had the most luck with has been this very first one for bull trout. There are others here and I haven't tested yet. And I'm kind of curious to see if this green one here called the Kubot KKW-6 is uh, popular amongst the trout. Now I don't think the wobblers are going to do very well. I think that's something you want to use more for bass. But I'm going to go ahead and purchase this one since I got a little bit of cash. If I can't, no, I have to be level 5. Okay, we can't test that yet. I did get this spoon and I do know this spoon is very popular amongst the brown trout so we're going to test that one out here in a minute. I did try this one up here the Okina G355. They didn't seem to be interested in it. Not one iota. And this one I haven't tested yet either. I'm going to go ahead and buy it and we're going to give it a try in a little bit here. But anyway, let's go ahead. Oh, as far as lines, I don't think it's really that big of an issue. What type of line? You don't want it, obviously, seriously, seriously heavy. But right now I've got a 10.80 pound test line on there. I think I'm going to tone that down a little bit and put lighter line, which let me go ahead and equip this. This is 1.98 pound. No, I think I'm going to go up a little bit more than that. Let's see. Do I have enough to purchase that? No, I don't. Well, we'll give the purple one a try. It may not be too much of a problem. I know it's kind of heavy, but we'll see how it does. All right, let's go ahead. Take a look at our skills here. We've got some skills that we can add. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself, right off the bat, the ability to use boats. That you need. As soon as you can get. Now as soon as you can get Hunter Vision, that's another one you want to get. Uh, strength, 
is very, very useful. And lower prices, I would go with that too, <laughs> because it's a little pricey in there. All right, guys. Now, this is where you can find friends and invite them to join the game. Obviously, there's the encyclopedia. This is the leaderboard. Now, this is something that's brand new, the fishery editor. And I haven't really had a chance to mess with this or even really look at it, but supposedly you can create your own lake or whatever environment you want, apparently. So, I don't know. It looks like you can put fish spawners so that the fish will come pop out in certain places. That's pretty cool. Make your own lake. Not a bad thing, huh? Anyway, I just wanted you guys to get a quick look at that. I don't know how to use it. It looks complicated as I'll get out. But I might mess around with it sometime later and see if I can't get the hang of it. Or see if there's some kind of a tutorial. But when I do, I will definitely show you how it's done. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in this lake and do a little spin casting. Now you're probably asking me, why in the world are you still at Betty Lake if you're level 4? Well, to be perfectly honest, I think it's a good idea to spend as much time as you can here. Because you can really grind this and get a lot of cash. That way you can get a, a better rod and reel for when you do go to the next lake. So, let me go ahead and switch over on my lure here. This is not really the one I want to go for at the moment. We're going to add the Dakino QRT1. This one does really well for bull trout. And I want you guys to see. Good. This right here is actually a really good spot for the bull trout. Right here at the very beginning. You throw that out there and you're going to do well. And you need to make sure once you get it cast out there. I should get a better cast now that I've got my strength added. Yeah, see, I used to get like 104 feet. Let that dude drop to the bottom. And go ahead and hit your F thing to take it down to the last notch. Now, I have tried lift and drop. I can't seem to get it to work. I, If anybody knows how to make the lift and drop in this game work, I have tried basically the same technique. Whoa. I guess he really wanted it, huh? <laughs> I was uh, not even doing anything. But like I said, they, they go for this pretty well, <laughs> obviously. But I... Anyway, if you guys could have seen anything on doing the lift drop in this game, I have tried to do it the same technique that I used in Fishing Planet. And the same technique I used before they changed it a year ago. And it just doesn't seem to be doing anything. It should be registering in that little bar that's above where your distance is and your depth is next to the reel on the right, the lower right. But I've seen nothing. I mean, the only thing I get is uh, slow and Occasionally stop and go and twitching, but that's it. But I will tell you, it does take a little bit of time to get these guys in. I don't want to break the line. But this is a pretty heavy duty line. I should have no problem getting him in. Yeah, the big thing about this game, guys, you got to test the lures. If they're not going to bite it, they're not going to bite it. I mean, you're not going to, you can't sit there and go throw here and here and here. If you know where the fish are, and you throw that lure out and nothing goes for it, then they're probably just not going to be interested in it. And that's the same as true for the bait. This lure, as I, as I, as you well saw, is very popular. Kind of curious to see what this is. Yeah, it's, I think it's a bull trout. Looks like one. 
Yep, it is a bull trout. That's $40. We'll go ahead and keep him. And they really, like I said, they really like that lure. And if you go over here, let me show you. To this side of the lake, there's a rock right over here. And if you use the same lure, you might still get bull trout, but you'll probably also get rainbows. Right on this rock right here. I usually just stand right out there and either cast over here or over here. Now, over here is a better location to cast if you're going after uh, browns. But we're going to see if we can't get some rainbow here. with this lure. As I said before, I'm going to let it drop. I'm going to take the tension down. That just blew my mind how quickly that bull trout went after that. I was like, wow. I didn't do a darn thing. I must have wiggled it just a little bit and got his interest up. But as you see, you can see the stop and go. And if you reel straight like that, the straight slow works real well. It'll get you three dots. But I, for the life of me, cannot get a lift and drop. And see, here he comes. Boom! They are very, very interested in this particular lure. like another bull too but you will probably get bulls all any just about anywhere around here the rainbows are over here there are brook trout haven't quite figured out what they like yet as far as artificial lures go I did know but they have changed. Like I said, they've done some updates, so the AI and the fish has changed a little bit, so you're going to have to play around. I would have spent a little more time trying to figure that out, but I have been very, very sick for the past week and a half. And I've been doing a lot of other series. So just for you guys to know, there, there should be a new first look coming out soon. It's for Interstellar Rift. Now it's a science fiction game, guys. So it's deviating a little bit from my usual set of things. But I think you're going to enjoy it. If you're into Star Trek, you'll enjoy it. If you like the Pulsar, you'll enjoy it. Yep, another bull trout. All right, we're going to try over this way this time. Towards that rock right there. Let's change our camera view. Now there, right here, there's a lot of browns. And every time I've run this lure through here, the browns just ignore it. The bulls seem interested. Now that one that just passed I believe was a brook. Sure looked like one. But the straight slow seems to work pretty good guys. Even though I prefer the lift and drop the straight slow will will get these guys interested. If you want to bring it in real quick guys like if you're this close hit the Q and you automatically pull it in. That's a nice little Feature, if you don't want to spend all that time reeling, you've pretty much established the fact that nothing's going to go after that lure. We cast this out one more time, and if nothing goes for it over here, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch to my spitter. But we're going to try a different lure at the moment. Let's see here. 
I'm going to go ahead and drop this lure off. We're going to go for a spinner here this time. And this one here, the Kubot KKW-5, is a good one to start with early on. We'll go ahead and equip that. And the bulls seem to go for it. The rainbows seem to go for it. Does not seem to interest the browns at all. I have not found a spinner yet that they like, but I think the spinner that they might go for is a level 5. So when I get to that level, I think we'll find out soon whether that's what their problem is. I will say this, they don't seem to be as enticed by the spinners as much as the spoons. But there's one coming. You can always tell when they're coming. They have a forward facing look to them. So, boom! There we go. Ooh, he's, he's, he's giving me, he's giving me a fight. He's giving me a fight. All right, let's put the tension to back up and we'll pull this guy in here. Now you can lift up on here, but I, I will tell you, be careful. You don't want to break. When it's about a third the way down, you, sh you should be safe to lift up. And that does get them in. And it can, it can even flash for a second. That's all right. It ain't gonna hurt anything. Okay, he's almost in. No, it's a bull. But yeah, he is a little bit bigger. These bulls are just like bulls. They keep going for it, I tell you. Let me go ahead and switch off here again. We're going to go on and add this other spoon. Now, I know that the browns like this one. So we're going to fish right over here where the browns have been. They, most of the browns that I've seen have been you come over here off this rock, throw it towards that rock, and that's where I usually see them. Now you can find them on the other side, but I tell you, especially if you're float fishing, boy, they just hit one right after another. If you've got worms or if you've got maggots, you're going to get the browns, and it's a great place to to fish for them. Now, if you want, in the next episode I can show you float fishing for the browns. But I think I've already done that once, so I'm not sure. If, boom! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and it's another bull. <laughs> These darn bulls are just... Lord, they are relentless. See, there's a brook down there on the bottom. Really wanted to get a brown this time. That's all right. All right, he's almost in. There he is. We'll sell him. Let's travel to the left a little bit. start reeling in. I don't let it usually hit bottom. I let it get close, but Oh wow. Did you see that? I was doing the twitching and that is a nice rainbow. This is not a bull trout this time. 
Whoa. Slow down, fella. Oh, he's big. He is giving me a fight. Notice how he keeps staying to the bottom like that? And we're going to keep fighting. Let him give a little bit. I think he's going towards me anyway. Yep, he is. And here he is, Rainbow Trout. Alright, we'll sell him. Alright, let's cast this out again. See if we can find that brown. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. The bull trouts have been in force. And I haven't seen any brown trout. I have not seen one brown trout. I don't know what's going on. It's like it hasn't spawned any. So I'm thinking we may have to move here, guys. I'm going to let this guy go here. Go ahead and take care of that. But I've been fishing over in this spot, so maybe they moved on to a different locale. I'm going to come over here and see if things are a little bit different on this side. It's not just in a matter that they're not biting. It's been a matter of I haven't seen any. I think I'm going to fish on this side. And usually, I will see some over on this end of things. And if we're not seeing any brown trout, then I'm not sure what's going on. I might get out that new lure I just purchased and see what it does. Because I'm kind of interested to see if that might attract the brook trout which are over here near the brook, obviously. See, there's a brook trout. But they don't seem interested in this lure at all. And there's one that is interested in it, but I'm telling you, it doesn't look like a brown trout. Nope. Not sure, but that might be a cutthroat. Let's see. I want to see if it's a cutthroat, guys. Let's pull it in. Now you can walk the fish if you want to. If you want to get a little closer to them while they're while you're reeling it in, that's not a problem. Just watch your tension when you're doing it. He's almost here anyway. Come on. Kind of curious to see if this is a cutthroat. No, it's still a bull. <laughs> but he's a big one. He's pretty good size. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Really don't. I don't know what's going on with the, the browns. I can't, I haven't seen one brown. It's almost like they cut them from the game or something. It's really weird. Now here's the brook. I think I'm going to go ahead and try that new lure real quick here, guys. So I am sorry we're not seeing any browns, but I have I don't know what's going on. I just, I haven't even seen one underwater. It's weird. All right. It's like they am scrayed. Okay, let's equip this new one. Kind of curious to see if maybe the brooks will go for this one. have not used this lure. This lure is actually pretty new. Kind of interested to see what it might attract, if anything. Yeah, 
Yeah, guys, do you just see that? N not even an inkling of an interest. So, that lure is a no-go. I mean, three or four of them swam around it, and they just acted like it wasn't even there. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're going to at least catch a brown here this one time here. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get rid of that thing let's go I will tell you this guys if you're gonna float fish you have to start with the float that's the way the thing is set up and the size of the float really doesn't matter so much but the hook is important if you use this third biggest hook nothing's gonna even pay attention to it the second big hook will go will attract the browns and as far as bait, the most successful ones that I've had has been either earth, the worms, or the maggots, depending on how much you want to spend. So let me go ahead and equip that. We're going to throw that out there. And we're going to see if one of the browns finally shows any interest look guys boom almost instantly a brown yeah I definitely have heck of a lot more luck catching these float fishing and these guys will bring in some cash now I know the worms are kind of expensive they're like seven bucks each but let me tell you you will get your money back. But let's get this guy in and see what he's worth. Now sometimes these guys are worth over a hundred cash, so this is where the money is. Yeah, to be honest, in this game, I'm not as fond of the spin casting. I like float fishing much, much better, but that's true for me in real life. I like float fishing. I like that more relaxed feel. But we're going to get this guy in. Take a look at him. There you go. Now we're talking. 77. He's not a monster, but he's decent. He is decent. Alright. Let's go ahead and sell him. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. But remember, come over here. Do a little bit of float fish for browns. You're going to pull in quite a few of them. And that's a good way to get up plenty of cash and some good reels before you go on to the Powell Lake fishery. So, anyway guys, until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.